looking now at some formatting things that we can do to this chart. Uh, th these things I'm going to show you don't have to be done in a particular order, um, uh, but I, I, I do want to see evidence that you've done each of these things in, in the chart that you turn in. Uh, let me rearrange things a little bit. First of all, it's kind of confusing to me anyway to have these two charts stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to move that first one we did down here. I'm going to keep it, but just move it out of the way. And uh, so now I'm working just with that combo chart that we made. Um, and let's see, I'm going to make it a little bit taller. Again, I'm, I'm not going to change the width. I, I, I recommend that you not do that. But I'm going to stretch it up just a little bit so we can uh, see it better. Um, now, the first thing that strikes me is that um, uh, you can pretty easily see that Williamson County is in the lead in terms of having the, the, the highest uh, uh, gross median rent and Davidson County second. But uh, these others are kind of, you, you have to kind of, it's a little hard to compare them. It would be much easier if we had these sorted from, say, lowest rent to highest rent. And then we would... Um, It'd be a lot easier to look at the chart and quickly get a sense of, of how these counties compare. Um, so the, uh, uh, the easiest way to do this, the only way to do it really, is to sort the data that the chart is based on. Uh, and the, these two things are connected. If you, if you do something to the data up here, it's going to reflect in the chart down here that the data um, uh, were, were the, 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 the data that the chart was built from. Uh, so remember earlier, I, I changed the uh, uh, capitalize the R in rent here, and it popped up in the uh, the capital R popped up in in the in this label right here. Well, the same applies to something like sorting. So let's sort these data from highest to lowest, uh, or from lowest to highest uh, rent values, and you'll see what happens with the chart. Now, sorting is something I haven't shown you before. <clears throat> it's a fantastic um, uh, property of any spreadsheet. Uh, first of all, I'm going to highlight all the data. That's really important. If you're going to if you're going to sort the data, be sure you sort all the data. If you sort just one column of of, of the data, the problem is then um, the data in the remaining columns no longer matches up to the uh, uh, the column that you sorted. So be sure you highlight everything. I'm going to do that by clicking this blank box here above the 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 the, the number for row number one and to the left of the letter for column A. Uh, when I do that. It highlights everything. I could also, you know, manually highlight just the data I want to sort, like that, um, and, and 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 do the sort that way. But it's a whole lot easier just to click that and and sort the entire uh, data set all at once. All right. So I'm going to uh, make sure that's highlighted and choose uh, data and sort range. Range meaning the range that I've highlighted, which in this case is the entire spreadsheet, um, and. Uh, you're going to want the advanced range sorting options right here. Click that. And uh, check this data has header row box. Uh, notice if I don't check that, then it it just identifies the, the various columns in the data by their column letters. You know, column A, B, C, and D here. See, the, 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 the letters are at the top of the columns. Um, but if I click uh, data has header row right there, uh, now... The, those those column labels that are in row one pop up in, in the little drop down menu here, and that makes it a lot easier to pick uh, the, the variable that you want to sort by. Um, I want to sort by the first one, which is median rent. It was already pre-selected, and this is just the order in which you want to sort. Uh, A to Z will put the uh, the counties in order from the lowest rent to the highest rent. Z to A will do the opposite. It will put them in order from the highest rent to the lowest rent. Uh, so let's go A to Z. And um, I think we're all set. Just click sort, watch what happens up here, and to the chart. Okay, so that quickly, it rearranged um, all of these rows of data here to put them in order by the median rent columns. So now we have the uh, uh, Robertson County, which has the lowest median gross rent of 955. It's at the top there. And Williamson County, which has the, uh, the biggest um, uh, median gross rent, ended up at the bottom. And the rest are arrayed in between, uh, according to uh, what their what their median rent is, and the the chart reflects the change. See, now we have uh, uh, Robertson County's bar here has been moved all the way to the left, Williamson's all the way to the right, and the other counties are kind of in between. So now, when a visitor looks at this graphic, they can immediately see what's going on here. They can they can they can see how the different counties compare to each other. 
Um, and that's, that's a big improvement. So be sure that you sort your chart uh, to, to, to help your reader uh, do that. All right, so what else could we do here? Um, it's a little bit unhandy when I'm um, uh, mousing over this chart uh, to have to pick out. So let's say I want to know what the maximum uh, 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 estimate for the rent is in Williamson County. I, to get that, I've got to target that, that yellow line very specifically like that. Um, what would be nice would be if, if all three of these values, the maximum, the, the median, and the minimum, would pop up just when I, when I click, when I mouse over the Williamson County bar. And that's, uh, that's what we'll do next. Um, uh, bring up your chart editor. Again, click the, the three little dots there and choose Edit Chart. And um, let's see here under Customize, hit the Customize tab and uh, choose Chart Style. And choose this uh, compare mode option uh, right there. Just click that box. And now watch what, hap what happens. If I, if I mouse over the chart now, uh, this detail window pops up, and it shows me all the information for that bar all at once. Boy, that's pretty handy. So now I, I can tell what the median rent is and what the from and the two values are uh, just like that. Um, so that's the compare mode feature. Um, uh, we'll look at some other things we can do in the next video, and um, I'll, you'll, you'll learn that you can customize this even further.